Hi everyone. So let's continue to discuss on J unit five assertions. And in this lecture, we will discuss about assert timeout method. So here, assertions API provide a static assert timeout method. Now what this method does? This method is used to test long running tasks. So friends, let's suppose you have written a piece of code, and you want to test that code that whether it is efficient or not performance wise. Then you can use assert timeout method. So basically, assert timeout method we use in test case to keep a check on performance inefficient code. So here, if we call a piece of code which we want to test as a task, then what this method does? That if the given task inside a test case take more than a specified duration, then the test case will fail. So here, this assert timeout method takes in a duration which is nothing but a time in milliseconds or nanoseconds, and it also takes a piece of code which we want to test. And if that piece of code takes more than a specified time, then the test case will fail. So the piece of code that we want to execute in in a test case is nothing but an executable. So here executable is a functional interface. So this executable is nothing but a block of code, which can even throw an exception. So usually assert timeout method takes in two parameters. One is the duration, which is the time, and other is the executable functional interface. And also, friend, when a test case runs, the executor will take the piece of code, which usually calls our method which we want to test. And what happens here is the executor will be provided to the test case will be executed in the same thread as that of calling code. So here, basically, our test case and the executor will run in the same thread. And as we discussed. That if our test case takes more than specified time, then the test case will fail. And also, we discussed that there is the same thread which executes the executable and the test case. So therefore, what happens is till the time our executable is not finished, the test case doesn't fail. So here you can see the execution of the executable will not be preemptively aborted if the timeout is exceeded. So let's say we want to test a method, and if we give a timeout, say of one millisecond, and if the executable takes, let's say, ten milliseconds, so we have to wait for ten milliseconds till the test case completes. And so one disadvantage of assert timeout is the executable will not be aborted if the timeout is exceeded; it will still continue to run all the code. And once the executable is finished, and if it takes more than the time provided, then the assertion will fail. Or else it will pass. So now let's discuss about the overloaded methods of assert timeout. So the first method takes in a duration which is nothing but our time and an executable. So here we are giving a time that we want to assert that this executable is within this time limit. And if the time limit exceeds, the assert timeout will fail. The second overloaded method takes in a duration, an executable, and a string message. So what happens if our assert timeout assertion fails? Then on the J unit console we will see a failure along with our this string message. The third overloaded method takes in a duration, an executable, and a supplier functional interface. So whenever our assert timeout assertion will fail. The supplier functional interface comes into picture, and it supplies a message which is of type string. So the only advantage between the second and third method is the supplier functional interface lazily evaluates to a string only when the test case fails. But in the second method, the string is evaluated every time whether the test case passes or fails. So friends, let's go to Eclipse and see the demonstration of assert timeout method. So friends, here in our JUnit Five project, in our test folder, I 
आई विल बी क्रिएटिंग वन टेस्ट क्लास लेट्स ए गिव ए नेम टू इट एस असर्ट टाइम आउट डेमो विल कीप इट इन अ पैकेज असर्ट टाइम आउट विल क्लिक फिनिश so friend this is our test class so friends now let's see the demonstration of first overloaded method of assert timeout so i will create at the rate test assert timeout with no message I will import at the rate test from org. jnu. jupyter. api. So friends, here we want to test the assert timeout. So we actually need a code which takes a long time so that we can assert that whether it is performance efficient or not. So in our src folder, we have created this book service class. and here you can see that we have created one method as get book titles by publisher where we pass a publisher and it returns back a list of string which is nothing but the titles of the book present in list of books so in this example what we will do we'll create n number of books we'll pass in a publisher and this publisher will iterate over each and every book and it compares that if the publisher is matching to any books publisher and if it is matching then we will add it to a list of book titles and then we'll return the book titles so so as the list of books have many books so this method might take some time to iterate over each and every book so we will test that piece of code using assert timeout so here first we will create the instance of book service because we want to test book service class so friends we will create 10000 books and we will add it to list of books so we will provide a for loop which will iterate from 1 let's say we will give value as 10000 and what we do here is we call book service dot add book and here we provide a book whose book id is the value i and let's say we give the title as so you think about that our bookstore has got 10000 books of head first java and whose publisher is vrox so we'll import book so friend what this for loop will do in book service we have this list of books and we are calling this add book method So here we are creating ten thousand books, whose book ID will vary from one to ten thousand, and we are adding this book to our list of books. So friends, now our list of books has ten thousand books. So here now we will call the book service method, which is get book titles by publisher, and it returns a list of string which is nothing but the titles of book whose publisher. matches in the list of books so here i will be creating a list of string will give it a name as
एक्चुअल टाइटल्स विल इंपोर्ट लिस्ट एंड एरे लिस्ट फ्रॉम जावा डॉट यूटिल पैकेज सो फ्रेंड्स नाउ हियर वी विल प्रोवाइड अवर असर्ट सो लेट से असर्ट टाइम आउट we will import it from assertions class so the first parameter is the duration so here we will call duration it has a method of milliseconds where we can provide the time in milliseconds so let's say i give that i want to run a piece of code and want to check that it should be less than 1 millisecond then also the second parameter is a type of functional interface which is executable so which is nothing but a piece of code which we called as a task and the timeout happens on that particular task so here we provide the code which we want to execute and we check for a timeout so let's say i call book service get book titles by publisher and i pass a publisher as vrox so friends get book titles by publisher will return a list of strings which we are adding to our actual titles so this is our assert timeout so now let's say our assert timeout succeeds so here we can simply assert by providing assert equals let's say i give value as 10000 to be the expected value and give the actual value to be the size of this list so here we have added 10000 books whose publisher is vrox so if i call this method and i pass a publisher vrox i will get a list of strings having size of 10000 so i am simply asserting that using assert equals so if i run this test case so friends here you can see the test case got failed and it gave an assertion failed error saying the execution exceeded time out of 1 millisecond by 4 milliseconds so here it took around 5 milliseconds we gave the time of 1 millisecond and as this piece of code took more than 1 millisecond our assert time out failed and as this piece of code is running in single thread therefore it executed this piece of code completely it noted full time and it gave an error saying that execution exceeded the time out of 1 millisecond by 4 milliseconds so it gives an information that you wanted to run this code in 1 millisecond but it took 5 milliseconds so there is a chance of improvement in our this method so friend this was our assert timeout with no message now let's see the second overloaded method which is assert timeout with message so the scenario remains the same the only change we do in assert timeout is first parameter is duration the second parameter is a executable and we also provide a third parameter which is our customized message and let's say we give the message as performance issues with get book titles by publisher method so friends here we have provided a string message so this message will get printed in our jnet console whenever our assert timeout will fail so if i run the test case
you see our test case got failed and it gave an assertion failed error now this time it gave our customized message as well saying that performance issues with get book titles by publisher method execution exceeded timeout of 1 millisecond by 3 milliseconds so here this piece of code took 4 milliseconds we gave a timeout of 1 millisecond so therefore our assert timeout failed so friend this was the second overloaded method of assert timeout now let's see the third overloaded method so i'll just copy and paste it below so i'll give the name as assert timeout with let's say message supplier so friend this test case is exactly the same as our second test case the only difference is instead of providing the string directly we will provide a supplier function interface which gets lazily evaluated only when our test case fails so if i run the test case now you will see the same output on the jvnode console it gave an assertion failed error saying performance issue with get book titles by publisher method and it also printed execution exceeded timeout of 1 millisecond by 3 milliseconds so friends we saw the demonstration of assert timeout and its overloaded methods so for now let's say i add only 1000 of books instead of 10000 in every test case so here now this search for publisher rocks will be on only 1000 books so this method might take less than 1 millisecond so if i run the test case now so here you can see all of our test case got passed and even the assert which we provided here got passed that the actual titles which contained the list of titles had a size of 1000 because we added 1000 books having publisher as vrox so friends this was all about assert timeout i hope you like this video thanks have a nice day